part three. Human efforts are not a remedy against the indulgence of the flesh. So human efforts are not a remedy against the indulgence of the flesh. It's a matter of low self-esteem, value, and worth. We see this today during this quarantine. Human efforts to keep a sense of value and worth. All the first responders, all these essential personnel being praised and in doing all this, everyone else, if you allow this to happen, are made to feel that they aren't essential. Especially those over 60. You don't have to allow this to happen. This over the hill gang are told to sit at home. You're too old. You aren't really needed in society. You are too susceptible to death and dying. We don't want your inability to perform to interfere with those who are still young and healthy. Yet not knowing that one day they too will fit into this over the hill gang. And have this boomerang come back on them. I am one of those many over the hill on 74. It doesn't allow us to get to them. Because my sense of value and worth has nothing to do with self. I don't allow this self to interfere. We are warned, submit yourself unto God. And you would resist the devil. When Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do, he knew what he was talking about. Today, in their efforts to praise people, they don't praise all people. And to think they accuse others of being racist and discriminating against others are doing this without even knowing that they're doing the very same thing. So we see a nation struggling to sustain their sense of value and worth. Those considered unessential, if they don't have an inward sense of value and worth, coming from something outside this realm of value and worth, you would feel worthless. Find yourself out there trying to do something to show yourself worthy of existing. You see it on TV. All these stories of people doing some strange things that they haven't ever done before because they can't perform on their regular professional job because it's considered unessential. So they do something or say something and hope that somebody might pick up on what they are saying and doing and feed their need for value and worth as a human being. There's a present evil that they aren't even aware of that's moving faster now than ever before to destroy the races, the cultures, all secular and religious creeds and opinions of gender, male or female. To make us all, at some point, to feel worthless because we are human beings. It's satanic. That we blame everyone other than the devil himself. That many consider as non-existent. You could almost call it the devil's revenge for treating him as though he was non-existent. And him seeking to prove that he's worthy. Where humanity is not worthy of God's praise. This is things we can't see. So we focus on the norm. What is the norm? To go back to the way that we were? Selfish, self-centered, eliminating God, going about establishing our ideas of righteousness, and then doing this, trotting underfoot of what it was that God had done to get us to see that our sense of value and worth has nothing to do with this mass that we put over top something greater. Greater is he that's in you 
that he that's in this world. What is that? You are to have been manifested as sons of God, not sons and daughters of men. This just seems to get past their ignore. Each trying to put on a new mask, a new sense of identity, becoming trendy. Like I've said, they might have future fashion shows on the newest trend, color, image, a mask. A whole new line, the Corona line of masks. <laughs> you see on TV, make these crazy masks. To hide who you truly are underneath all of this pretense. The Greek word, hypocrisy, which I mentioned in the other videos. Actors on the stage of life pretend to be something that we are not wearers of the mask. So this one video on quarantine was expressing that. And the other series called The Mask have defined this and what it really means. Men have waxed worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived, and God trying to wean us from this mask to wake us up to who we truly are in Christ, sons and daughters of God, hidden under this, these masks. Attempting to get us to face the truth of your true sense of value and worth through what the Lamb of God accomplished. Blessed be the Lamb of God who makes us, created us in His image and are fighting this image to keep, hang on to what we have created independent from God. It's a crying shame that I can't get this point across. They feel threatened by you trying to pull off their mask. Afraid of losing something. He that seeks to save this life loses that life, that image God had created us to be. Eternally begotten as the very image of His first eternally begotten Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, and our being eternally begotten in Him before the fallen foundations of this world. Everything that I've been sharing in this, this, this series on the flesh and in others, quarantine, the mass, they all go hand in hand. It's like a last ditch effort on my part and the Father through this vessel to get us to wake up to this fact of what many are throwing away or hiding it, covering it with their mass. May God wake us up to this reality the reality that he had called the world of the unseen where there is true hope, Christ in you, the hope of restored lost glory to the fall of Adam Eve. God bless you.